Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel, it's me Kate Amwar. I know this video is a bit different to anything I've done on my channel before. I have done Talk Tuesdays on different topics but today I just wanted to encourage you guys a little bit on your walk with Christ if you are a Christian or if you're curious about Christ, it may be beneficial to you as well. If you're on your Christian walk and you feel like, yeah, everything's on point, I don't know, my points may still help you in some way as well. So this topic was really on my heart to share just because I've heard quite a few people recently saying they don't really know how to build a relationship with Christ or draw closer to him. It's like, what exactly do I have to do? So I was thinking about it yesterday and I just felt led to share this video. So there's two main things you can do to really build a relationship with Christ. The first thing is to pray. Pray, pray, pray. We say it, we all know it on a surface level, but it's really hard to really get into it and really do it on a consistent basis. It was one of my goals for the beginning of this year, I don't know if you've seen my goals for the year, was to really develop my relationship with Christ. And one of the ways I've been trying to do that is to pray a lot more regularly. So if you do manage to set aside at least five minutes every day just to pray to God, just say, you know, thank you for waking me up, thank you for the things that you've brought me through, talk to him about your situations, your struggles. Everyone has something that they're going through at each point in time. Instead of calling up your friend or what's happening to your friend or your partner or your mother or whatever, the first thing you should do is just speak to God about it. God, this just happened, I just got fired or I just lost some money or this boy just broke up with me, what do I do? I feel like this, that, that. The first thing you should do, the first person you should turn to is God. Just offload on him and you'll feel 10,000 times better, I can assure you. A tip I can share with you guys that I use is I journal my prayers. So I've got this journal and I literally write out my prayers. Um, like my in-depth prayers, I write them out and I just find it a lot easier. So if you find that sitting down and trying to speak to God like, hi God, um, <laughs> doesn't really work for you. I recommend trying to journal your prayers. I think it's really effective. And then I write them out and then I read them out after back to God. The second thing I recommend to do if you want to draw closer to God is to read your Bible. I have two Bibles. Well, I have a Bible on my phone and then I've got this big King James Bible that I was blessed with from my nan when she passed away. And I've also got this little mini Bible that I like to carry around in my bag. And this is the NIV version. And it's just nice to have a physical Bible handy. It's good to have a Bible on your phone, but what I find that in moments when I wanna just spend some time with God in the mornings or whatever, if I use my phone Bible, I'm gonna get distracted. I'm gonna go on Snapchat, I'm gonna go on Instagram, YouTube, and then before you know it, the time's just gone and I've not really spent quality time with God developing my relationship. So I do advise you to get a physical Bible just for your times when you're trying to focus in and just get to know God and hear what he's saying. My final encouragement to you guys is that no matter what you're going through, it may seem like the end of the world, but there's a God in heaven that is hearing your prayers. He's looking down on you. He's there to heal you, protect you, guide you. You just have to open up to him and just reach out to him. Matthew 6, 33 says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. I'm not gonna read the other bit, just that bit. Focus on that bit, seek ye first. So that's why, again, I recommend seeking God first in the morning before you go on for your day. And you'll definitely notice a difference. You'll see that something that would irritate you, you've sought God first and you kind of have a scripture to back you up for the day or you will just feel a bit lighter and you'll have a bit more joy to be like, you know what, the bus driver just left me but it's fine. <laughs> My co-worker just screwed me for no reason, but it's fine, I can get on because I've got joy in my heart. And the second and last scripture is Proverbs 8, 17, which says, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. I thought that was such a beautiful scripture to leave you guys with. He loves you, God loves you. If you love him and you wanna seek him, just seek him and you'll find him. He's there, he's waiting, he's ready for you. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys were encouraged. That is my prayer that someone was encouraged out there. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and stay blessed.